Chase three. He's oh, it gone. And down One. goes the bronze bomber. Is this how it Three. ends? Is this Four. the end of Deontay Five. Wilder's career? Six. Finish. He's Seven. gone. He's not making this count, Eight. son. Nine. This fight is finished. It's over. Yeah. Big bang. Shaylee. Deontay Wilder got sent into another dimension when he got hit by the most lethal punch we've seen in a while. It was one of the better nights of boxing. Eddie Hearn's Matchroom v's Frank Warren's Queensberry 5v5 event had a different buzz surrounding it, and things skyrocketed when Jilei Jung shocked the whole boxing community by wiping the floor with the bronze bomber. And let's just say there was one guy in particular who was fairly disappointed, the one and only Anthony Joshua, and it doesn't end here. Wilder just came up short. Well, he'll live to fight another day. Me and him can still get it on. We can still get it cracking. I believe I'm a massive threat. I still think Wilder's a threat, and I still think it does amazing numbers if we get it on. But I'll leave that down to my management, trainers, promoters to make the decision. I'm down to fight anyone, whenever, and whoever. Eddie Hearn, who was sitting courtside with AJ, told us the initial reaction of a Nathnoy Joshua to the last two fights of the card, which included the one that may have just ended Wilder's career. AJ was sat next to you. What did he say for the last two fights? Yeah, I mean, I think he was surprised with, with Wilder, you know, um, and I thought he thought Daniel done really well. You know, I think Hergovic just imploded a little bit, and I'm not sure how good his fitness was. But Daniel was a train, he just kept grinding and he walked through a lot of shots. He got buzzed, but he come through it and he grew in confidence and he did fantastic tonight. Anthony Joshua was surprised. So was everyone who tuned in to see this pro bout. But there's more. Joshua was not only surprised, but he was disappointed as well. When asked by Dazen if he was disappointed with Wilder's loss, Joshua had some interesting things to say. It is what it is. Come again if you want but he's got his family and there's a life outside of boxing for him. Joshua vs. Wilder was supposed to be the fight of the decade. At one point, this was all everyone talked about in the boxing community. But with Wilder facing two losses back to back, the hype of what could have been a mega fight is now dead. That one is off the cards. But let me remind you guys, Deontay Wilder was considered to be the most feared fighter of our generation. But on fight night, everyone feared one thing only and it was the fear for his health after he got dropped onto the canvas. If that's not embarrassing enough, then I don't know what is, especially considering how much trash talk Wilder did during the buildup. At first, we thought it was his unbreakable confidence and faith in his abilities that was doing all the talking, but now we know it was pure delusion. That, that I still got what it takes, I still got the juice, and I'm gonna deliver come Saturday night, I can't wait. I'm gonna be like Ali listed. I'm gonna st I'm stand over his body like 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 65, like Ali did like, um, um, Linux um, listed in 65. So I'm looking forward to the fight. I I, I can't wait. This has been an absolute pleasure coming back here again, and I must deliver. It's it's do or die, you know. And uh, <laughs> y'all already know how I feel as a warrior. I'm a warrior. I got a warrior mentality. I got a warrior mindset, I got a warrior heart, and I'll die for what I believe in. I'm willing to die in the ring for what I believe in. And if a man ain't willing to step in there and die like me, he better step out of that because I'm ready. Zhang made this fight look like a walk in the park for him, and truth be told, it was. Moments after the fight, Zhang was seen smiling and taking pictures with the fans, and that's never been the case for most guys who step into the ring with Deontay Wilder. Now that's a real warrior if you ask me. Let's take a look at some more shocking reactions. First off, we have the one and only Jake Paul. Everyone had that exact same face when they saw Wilder go down. Teddy Atlas, who is known for coaching the greatest of all time, Mike Tyson, had some things to say from a technical standpoint. And if I were you, I wouldn't miss out on what this guy had to share. Probably retires, but look, that's up to him. Yeah. That up to you, me, Teddy Atlas. That, that's up to him. He reached in with the right hand, which is what he's always looking for. He fell into space a little bit. 
and he got countered with the most dangerous punch in southpaw control. Everyone thinks the most dangerous punch for a southpaw is the left hand. And we all thought it tonight with Zhang. And, and it is dangerous. It's the power punch. But for me, it's always the right hook. You know why? All the dog fighters aren't used to seeing that punch come from that angle. You know, your peripheral doesn't pick it up. Yeah, you just, you haven't seen it that much. And it's hard to pick up. And he reached him with right hand. He got counted. Give Zhang credit. He threw the right punch. He counted him with the right hook. And then he followed him. You know, obviously he twisted around. He followed him, which you're supposed to do. You follow the guy, right? Uh, you know, you, you, you don't stop till the referee makes you stop. He followed him. He caught him again. He finished him. Teddy Atlas believes Wilder will probably retire. And you can't blame him, can you? Wilder was considered to be one of the best in the scene. His two previous fights exposed him. I mean, Joseph Parker gave him a run for his money, but Zhang here just ended his career with a single bang, and the fans are now done with the bronze bomber hype. His era came and went. The fans believe it's about time Wilder hangs up the gloves. One of the fans tweeted, Where are those people saying that Zhang was too slow, man? He sent Wilder to the Shadow Realm. Well, that he sure did, and millions around the world were there to witness it. Another fan commented, Sad end to Wilder's career. It is indeed sad, but it's time for Wilder to retire for good. He went on one of the most impressive runs in boxing history, KO after KO. He brought the excitement back to the sport like no other and called for every big name. You gotta respect the guy. But it's about time the bronze bomber says farewell to the ring. Let's hear it from Eddie Hearn. That guy had the toughest night. All his fighters lost to Frank Warren's fighters. Now that's got a sting. Just not the same, yeah. in all honesty. You know, um, just feel that his belief's not there anymore. And, you know, you've got to ask yourself why. Yeah. Is it just time? Is it something else that's not right? But, you know, he, he's not letting his hands go. And, and that's what made him one of the most feared fighters in the world so yeah that's you know it's all down to sort of personal um opinion of what's next for him that's up to him i mean look he's not the fighter that he was that's the, at the moment yeah but people come back but you know it's, it's deep in the road i went up to him i mean he was very you know he, he thought he shouldn't have been stopped but I don't think there's many that don't feel that way, but obviously he was frustrated because, look, he's, you know, I'm sure he's given everything in camp. He's tried to talk to himself and convince himself that he's still that fighter, and he hasn't been able to perform. So I would think he's incredibly frustrated, but we wish him all the best. Eddie lost 5-0, and on top of that, your best fighter had the worst night of his career. Wilder got bullied by Zhang for five rounds straight before he got swept. This loss is going to be a tough one to swallow for both Wilder and Hearn. But hey, Eddie's still got an ace up his sleeve. And that ace is Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua has got a target on his back now. Because Zhang is now going to be gunning for his head. Yep, he called Joshua out after an impressive performance. <laughs> Rao 打中之后他脑子有点晕,然后又上去补了一拳。下一步打谁,有二番战协议,然后AG没有对手,都可以。Mm. Mm. But here comes the interesting part. Zhang is not the only one after AJ. Another fighter who raised many eyebrows with his notable performance, Daniel Dubois also wants a shot at the head of the table. AJ Wembley Dubois versus AJ, is that what you're thinking? That's what's been t what I've been hearing, so let's see. And there's a good chance you're going to be defending the, uh, a world, and it's an interim world title at the moment, but there's a good chance it'll be a world title. So how does that even sound, Daniel Dubois, world champion? Yeah, this is a dream, you know, coming back from challenging for the world title to now getting the chance to win the damn thing out, outright. I want, you know, I want, that's what I want. What do you do to AJ? I just demolish him. I get even better. From here on, I get even better. Now that looks like a man with his plan. 
We know what Daniel Dubois can do, and we've seen it. He stopped Philip Hergovich in the eighth round. It was a masterclass performance from his end, and he knows what the next big step is. And I don't know about you guys, but this guy already seems ready to take on Anthony Joshua. Hey, with Daniel Dubois, I mean, when you hear Wembley, Joshua, I mean, before the end of the year, what does it make you, what does it make you feel? It feels great. It feels, um, that's the next step. I mean, you know, words can't explain it, but I'm glad we got through tonight. That was a war tonight. Was there any point in the fight when you felt like, you know what, I know I've got this in hand, tonight's my night? Um, after the round before the last year, he was wearing, I was wearing him down, but it was a great war. He's an animal in there, and the full respect to him, he's a top fighter. Hergovic said this wasn't going to be a difficult fight. He would smash you is the quote. Uh, what did you make of his performance, and how does it feel to have stopped him? Oh, man, he's... He's performance, he'll be back. He's a good fighter. He's an animal, like they call him. But um, I, tonight I had to show what I was made of, and, you know, my dad and my Frank Warren helped me come through it. How do you beat Joshua? You guys are both on a winning streak and feeling good. You guys will see, you know. I'll be prepared. I'll beat him. I'll do it. <laughs> and when Joshua was asked about a potential fight with Dubois in September, he didn't just stop there. He also talked about the possibility of squaring off with Zhang. I've got to pick them off one by one. It's not going to be easy, but that's my mentality. So, come on, come all. Dubois has worked his way up the ladder. We'll see what happens in the near future. Joshua is keeping his options open, and we know AJ is anything but a duck, so he'll be ready for either of them. But guess what? Daniel Dubois versus Joshua has already started making a lot of rounds on the internet. And according to Eddie Hearn, it's highly likely that this fight will see the light of day. Are we looking at Dubois now for AJ next? Quite possibly, yeah. We're going to go and talk now to His Excellency. I've got to go to his for a meeting. And then we'll, um, you know, we'll, we'll see what's next. I think if the fight against Hergovic could be, uh, Dubois could be made for the World Heavyweight title, two Brits at Wembley, could be an option. This could be the next big thing even though it was Wilder who was supposed to take on Joshua. But hey, it's best that Wilder only takes a permanent vacation from boxing. If John can cause this much damage to Wilder, you can only imagine the hell Anthony Joshua would have unleashed upon him. But hey, you never know, maybe this loss brings back the old Wilder. If that's the case, then it's bye-bye for everybody. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video.